You know, it's really interesting because there is a way with a custom search engine. And since you're talking about LinkedIn, I'm a big proponent of not reinventing the wheel. If it's already invented, then just use it. So somebody out there, and I can't recall who I think, it might have been Arena. It's several different people have done it, but I think it's Arena's, created this LinkedIn search with refinements. Now, before we get into that, let me just put in Java. Seattle and get the results and it's doing LinkedIn and here are the refinements already created including years of experience and of course you can make corrections and updates that now where do you find the custom search engine uh, oops sorry you basically it's this string right here hopefully you can see um, let me copy it let me copy it and put it into a format that might be a little bigger for you guys to read. There or you we go. can put it in chat and I can blast it out to everyone. Oh, too. all right. Well, let's do that then. Chat. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, wait a minute. Type here. Boing, boing. There you go. It's in chat. So I'm a huge proponent of not reinventing the wheel. I mean, I've created plenty of custom search engines. I've got several of them. But I search. You know, when I search for tools, part of what I search for is also tools. It's um, extensions. It's apps. It's custom search engines, and as you can see, I've got a boatload of them, and I didn't create all of them. I think I've got six that I've created. Well, let me rephrase that. I've got six that I create that I use. I've had some I've created for other people, and I just let them, you know, I basically do it in their account, and they have them. But as you can see, there are both, I mean, just for LinkedIn alone, there are a boatload of custom search engines created. Um, and, and like I said, I'm a big proponent of not reinventing the wheel. If it's already done, and it seems to be pretty good, and it works then why recreate the wheel? So I've tested all of these. They all seem to work pretty well. Um, so I use them. And this particular one is linked to insert with refinements, and you put in what you want, then you see the refinements, and you can modify your refinements, and there you go. Um, it's tough to put in for years of experience, especially now that LinkedIn's made a change and getting ready to make another change, uh, but it can be done. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the butt. I, for me anyway, and this is just off the cuff, years of experience, and I'm going to use an example that just happened, got two people. One's got five years of experience, one's got ten. They really wanted somebody with eight to ten years of experience, but I talked them into bringing this five-year experience in, and guess what? The five-year experience person, less experience, much better job of developer than the six to ten. Than the than the guy the person with ten years much better user experience doesn't denote skill doesn't really indicate skill level, and I think that's where we as recruiters get mixed up. I want ten years of experience. Why? Well, because they're going to be better job developers. They're going to know more. No, that's not necessarily true. Just because they got ten years of experience doesn't mean they know more. It doesn't mean they're better. Um, I when I talk to I'm I was just talking to one of my um, directors and I was like, we need to stop the user experience stuff and go with skill level. It's more important that their skill level is high than the user experience. I don't care how many user experience they have as long as their skill level is right. If I got a person who's a 10 job developer who only has five years experience and a person who's a four job developer that has 10 years experience, who do you think I really want to be a Java developer? The person who's the better Java developer, not the person who has more years experience because you don't know what and, and and that's a fallacy that I think people um, pick up on 10 years experience. Okay, but how many years has actually been Java development? Maybe it's only two. Maybe it is 10 years experience, but maybe the Java development was more, was a year of Java development and the rest of it just reusing code. I mean, you just don't know. Of course, you read, you can try to figure it out, but which isn't so easy. So um, if I got a rec, they say they want 10 years experience, first thing I always do is I say, okay, what skill level are you doing? How, uh, one to 10, 10 God, one is they can spell the word, spell the language. What level, how strong a Java do you want? And they tell me, I say, okay, so if I find you a Java developer who's a six or better, which is what you want, and they've only got five years of experience, will that work? And they're like, as long as they're a good Java developer and they're six or higher, I'm good. That's usually what I get when it comes to developers. User experience does come into account a little more when it comes to project managers and stuff like that because there is things that experience does teach you. But even then, I know people who have 20 years as a project manager who aren't near as good as people with half that time. Because again, user experience does gain you wisdom, but you can gain that wisdom without the user experience if you work hard. So that's my opinion. Served me well in all my, year, in all my years of recruiting. You know, um, I've never had any problems so that's my opinion you know um, you know I think skill level is more important than user experience user experience doesn't guarantee skill mm -hmm.